Yo, what's up guys? It's Seabrev, doing a little bit of a different video today. Um, I get some questions from a couple regular viewers about what are some good pitchers on All-Star difficulty, um, and why do I rank guys differently on All-Star than on Hall of Fame and Legend. And so I kind of just wanted to give a general breakdown of how to pitch on All-Star difficulty, and give you guys some suggestions of who you might throw in your starting rotation just to get over that hump until 700 rating. Um, keep in mind, once you hit 700 rating and higher, there's a chance that you run into a game that's on Hall of Fame difficulty, and a lot of the guys that I'm going to suggest are much worse on Hall of Fame than they are on All-Star. Um, so my suggestion would be, once you get around 720 to maybe 740 rating, maybe start to rotate some of these guys out if you're going to use them at all. If you don't want to use them, I understand. Um, this video is still going to be helpful for you as far as like generally how to pitch on All-Star and what to look for, even if you don't want to use the guys that I'm going to talk about. But um, yeah, once you pretty much have a good chance of playing in Hall of Fame, I would kind of rotate these guys out. And if you didn't know, um, 769 rating is the exact cutoff, where if you have the bar minimized when you're searching for matchmaking, it'll stop at a min of 700, which means you're guaranteed to play on Hall of Fame. So once you hit 769 rating, you can make it so you are guaranteed to play on Hall of Fame by holding the bar down or to the left uh, when you're searching for a game. So uh, let's talk about, in general, how to have success pitching on All-Star. And the most important thing to understand is that most of the time you're not going to have success pitching on All-Star. Um, Post-patch 1.21, uh, pitching on All-Star is nigh impossible and the way that you're going to climb rating and the way that you're going to beat people on All-Star difficulty is by out hitting them, not by out pitching them. So that's important to understand um, not to get rattled if you go down like 6 nothing in the first three innings or something like that because uh, when two good players go out and on All-Star it pretty much always results in double digit runs for both players. That's just kind of how it is. So, um, the goal is to take less bad swings than your opponent, essentially. And that kind of segues into how you're going to want to pitch on All-Star. The way you're going to get people out on All-Star is by making them make a mistake as a hitter, rather than you making a good pitch as a pitcher. So what does this mean? Um, this means that you're going to be wanting to pitch off the corners rather than on the corners. Um, on Hall of Fame and Legend, very important to throw strikes. On All-Star, very important to throw balls a lot. Um, as dumb as it may sound, uh, people, and trust me, I'm not a big fan of walking people myself, uh, but people have gigantic PCIs on All-Star. They're looking to crush the ball, and if pitches are borderline, they're probably swinging. So that means you can get a lot of swings on pitches just off the plate, which is going to help you out as far as getting some free outs, because the more free outs you can get on All-Star, the better chance you're giving yourself. Um, so that means when you're ahead of the count, make sure you're throwing good waste pitches that are close to the zone that will induce swings. This is obviously easier to do because it's easier to control pitchers on All-Star as well. Um, additionally, understand that you're not going to get a lot of strikeouts, and the goal is to pitch to contact. Um, and generally that weak contact is going to be generated by a, an opponent's poor swing decision. So you want to induce as many poor swing decisions from your opponent as possible to get the most amount of contact outs. Um, how can you further induce these poor decision swings from your opponent? Um, basically, <laughs> the best way to do this is to get your opponent frustrated. Uh, when people are playing on All-Star and they start to not score a lot, people have a tendency to get frustrated very easily. Um, and so that's why I'm going to suggest some of the guys that I'm going to suggest for your rotation, um, because these guys are just generally a pain in the ass to try and hit against, and are just super annoying to face, and uh, kind of obnoxious, and definitely very frustrating. Seems like you're taking good swings the whole game, but you're like just missing the ball with your PCI. Um, and so I guess I'll just kind of go into that. So number one, which I recently discovered, is this postseason Anibal Sanchez. Um, as a general archetype for pitchers that are better on All-Star than any other difficulty, these pitchers typically throw slow, um, they typically have great speed differential, 
and most of the time they have a sinker or cutter or both. So um, Anibal Sanchez checks off all these lists. He tops out at 93 miles an hour. He's got a cutter, he's got a sinker, he's got a splitter that's 85 and a changeup that can go as low as 69 miles an hour. Um, that gigantic drop off of a changeup is actually going to help you get some swing and misses on All Star, which is a, a thing that not a lot of pitchers can do is get swing and misses on All Star. In general, I just think this card is an absolute beast on All Star difficulty. And I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but the number one most important thing about pitching on All Star is hitting your spots. If you leave anything over the plate in a bad spot, it's going to get crushed. So the order of looking what you're looking for in a pitcher is going to be their control and then their stuff. Um, you just want to be using pitchers that you can paint the black with basically the entire game so you don't get punished as often. But yeah, I think this postseason Animal Sanchez is a beast on All-Star difficulty. Um, another good pitcher on All-Star difficulty is Signature Series Whitey Ford. Um, once again, checks off a lot of the things that I talked about. Throws pretty slow, great speed differential, generally annoying to face, um, and has a sinker as well. Um, his changeup and curveball very slow. His slider is pretty decent. Uh, I just think this card in general is very annoying to try to face as a hitter, um, especially an all-star. And obviously per nines don't matter as much an all-star because everyone's PCI is huge. Um, and then the last guy, I've talked about this before, um, Signature Series Tommy John. Um, this card is just the douchiest thing you could possibly use online. <laughs> and I love doing it because he is the king of making your opponent frustrated. Um, this card can dot everywhere. Whenever I pitch with this card on All-Star, it seems like I can put the ball wherever I want. And he also throws a bunch of junk very slowly, and it's hyper annoying to try to hit against. And so I think Tommy John is probably one of the best pitchers to use on All-Star difficulty as well because he's incredibly good at generating poor swings from your opponent, whether it be from frustration or being terrible <laughs> as a pitcher or both. So um, I think that's pretty much all I had to say. You can leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions. I think this pretty much covers everything. And just want to reiterate that these are good these are guys that are better on all-star than any other difficulty not guys that are better than other guys on all-star if that makes sense so don't take kershaw out of your rotation for tommy john kershaw is kershaw on all-star is still better than tommy john on all-star it's just that tommy john on all-star is better than tommy john on hall of fame and legend so i hope that makes sense for you guys and obviously if you don't want to use any of these guys on all-star i get it like i said um, just use some of the concepts that I talked about in this video. So if you made it this far, drop a like. Like I said, any additional questions, leave a comment down below. I'll get to them for you guys. Um, otherwise, I'll see you on the next video, and I appreciate all the love and support from you guys and making it this far. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.